Top five free AI website builders to create $10,000 websites, no coding required. Over the last month, I've tested more than 20 different AI website builders, and only five of them are able to create $10,000 websites. So today, I'm gonna share those five AI website builders that help you create awesome websites without needing to know any code. So my goal for this video with you today is to not only help you pick the right tool for your website, but also to show you how to make one using that tool step by step. And to keep things fair, I'll be using the same idea for each website I create across all of the builders that we're gonna be checking out today. So for this video, I'm gonna create a website for a vintage car dealership. And let's go ahead and call it Old Timer Motors, and it'll be based in California. Now we've got a lot to talk about, so let's go ahead and dive right in. First one up is Dora. And this new tool I wanna to talk about today is called Dora, not related to the Disney series. It launched in 2021, so it's pretty fresh and has already made a name for itself in the web design world. Now, if you go ahead and go on over and you check out their website, you'll see a prompt where you can enter some text and then you'll need to log in after that. And when you log in, you get some free credits to check out their AI powered website builder. So, so far, win-win. So I'm gonna jump in and enter my prompt to see what it can come up with. So first it asks for my prompt and gives me a couple of different style options. I can pick one of the preset styles or go to the custom route to make my own. It really does just depend on how much you want to have control of things. All right, so we're here now, and for this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the preset that I already have set up. So I'm gonna take this and place it here, and then we'll create these four previews. And the first thing it does is generate a few different styles for me. If I happen to like the second one, I'll go ahead and request it to generate. Just wait a little bit of a while. And great, so before making any changes here, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So let's take a look at what the website appears like without altering it at all whatsoever. And wow, this actually looks quite impressive, I might say. And it's created a section around home, around about, inventory, contact, and appointments, which is pretty good because I told it that its goal was to book appointments for showings. It's really just showcasing a bunch of beautiful cars. It already understands what we're trying to do here. And then when I come back to the editor, we can just start adapting and changing things from here to what we want to customize it to look like for our specific purposes. So we can check out different design elements and events that we want to happen, like interactions for buttons, for example. But generally speaking, I think it's already done a pretty good job here on its own. So starting from this point, we can totally change up a whole section. If we want to, we can ask the AI to tweak that specific part or even have it rebuild the whole site if this version just doesn't vibe with us. You'll also find a mobile version on the left-hand side, so you can tweak that as well. Just look at the quality of the cars it's already generated on its own. It's pretty much nailed the prompt. Plus, it got my request to set up calls for me, and for me, that's kind of mind-blowing and amazing. Even the copywriting quality looks pretty decent. So this already feels quite elevated, which aligns with our goals in the prompt. However, I would like to point out that Dora is intended for those who have some experience in web development, which might be a drawback if you're a complete newbie. So it might not be the best tool for complete beginners. Since this is the first version anyway, many people might find it less accessible because it requires a little bit of a learning curve. Now, gaining proficiency in the platform could take a couple of months, especially for aiming to build more complex websites. Hostinger. Now, if that sounds like you, then this next tool could be just what you need. The second tool has been around since 2004, so about 20 years, so they do know a thing or two about building websites. It was started by a couple of guys in Lithuania, and it's really taken off since then. It's called Hostinger. Now, one thing that's cool about these older platforms is that they have been developing AI long before it even became popular, what, since 2021, late 2022? As evident from their website, they offer very competitive pricing and this makes them a great option if you're looking to create your very first website. So let me show you how all of this works together. After you log in, you'll see a few easy setup steps to help you get started. I'm going to pick that option. And for this one, we're setting up a website using Hostinger. Next, we'll enter the domain we want to use, and if you have one, just type it in and connect it. Easy peasy. 
If not, you can grab one right here. I'm entering Old Timer Motor CA, and look at that, they're actually giving away this domain for free, which is pretty awesome. Once I entered my contact info, I could finish signing up right here, and now it's time to dive into creating this website with their AI. Now, first up, we need to input the brand name, Old Timer Motors. For the description, I'm just gonna drop my prompt in. Pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and keep this website going. So here's what it came up with. I really like it so far. It has a classy vibe that matches the website I am trying to make. I also like the colors. They have a vintage feel to them and there are some beautiful cars being displayed here on this website. So for me, this design makes sense. And if you're new to this, it'll be a great fit for you too. For example, if there's something you really don't like, for example, the text, just tell it what you actually prefer and it will adapt to what you want. Want to swap out an image? No problem, it'll do it for you. You can easily switch it up right here. If you just need to change one thing, just go in and create a new image. You can also tweak it however you want it to. Like seriously, when I say they've got some advanced features, I really do mean it. You can use an AI writer, an AI page creator, and even section generators. So if you want to create or change a whole section, just use a few prompts and you're good to go. There's also an AI blog creator and heat maps, which show you where people are most likely to focus your attention so you can focus your attention on that. And when I turn that on, it highlights the areas that people are reading in that section. Now this is important because most users just typically skim a website. And the next step now is to choose the keywords we want the site to rank for, such as test drive, vintage cars, classic automobiles. Then it'll show the search results along with the SEO title and the meta description. You can use this process for every single section you have and you'll be ready to go. It's quick, straightforward, and as you can see, it's pretty user-friendly. This is a great option for people with limited experience who want something elegant, something done quickly and completely easily with the help of AI. And if you're looking for something more detailed, especially for more, a little bit more experienced web designers, you're gonna go ahead and dig these tools I'm about to mention. Next is Webflow, a super handy, no code builder. And when you team that up with Reloom, it gets really exciting. I just had to share these two tools because I think you're also really going to enjoy them. So in Reloom, what we're gonna do here first is enter our prompt and as with always AI, in just a few seconds, it magically whips up a sitemap, a layout of the website that I can tweak however I want. I can take out parts, but as soon as I click on this section, the wireframe, check out what happens. It instantly creates a whole website wireframe and if we zoom in a bit, you'll see it actually looks pretty good too. Even cooler still, if you head to the top and you click here when you're ready, you can copy this over to Webflow. Though you do have to be subscribed on the paid plan to be able to do this. And what happens is I can come here, click on the body, then press V to paste. And just like that, I've created a whole website. And this website includes all the code behind it too. The best part is that is if you want to change the buttons, you can go to the style guide, make one change, and it'll update the buttons across the entire website. Just a quick note regarding this method though, mastering Webflow can take a few months. You can accomplish some basic tasks in just a few days or weeks, but as we delve into more intricate projects, it will become a little bit more challenging. All right, Wix, let's check out this next one. It is definitely the big player everyone talks about, talking about Wix. So let's jump in and create a website using their AI. There are some cool animations too, though I'd feel like there's something a bit off at the top. I could either say, make it a bit different or just start fresh and regenerate everything all over again. And this part, if I go into design, it's super easy to tweak the theme if I want. Let's check out the different options. Overall, I think they've done a great job with AI. It's mostly come up with some impressive stuff. If I wanna change anything, it's just drag and drop. So for example, let's say I want to swap out the background image I can do that super easy without any trouble. It also allows you to generate images using AI. So if I navigate to this section here, you'll notice that we have some extra tools available for us to use. This is quite cool and fascinating. A text generator, a section builder, and even a theme helper. Overall, it results in a fairly impressive output. 10 Web. So this platform kicked off back in 2019, created by some experts who really loved WordPress. It's called 10 Web. Let's go ahead and check out their AI website builder. And after logging in, I can head over here to start building a new site with AI. 
So I'll go ahead and just click that and it'll ask for the site's name. Let's go with Havana Classics. Cool, it's setting up hosting and it's on WordPress and it's almost done. And now we're at the next step. Let's go ahead and hit generate with AI. So what kind of website are you planning to make? I'm thinking about creating an informational site. So let's just go ahead and answer some of these prompts. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out what it can put together. It has a sitemap, kind of like what we already saw with Reloon. It's going to ask me about how everything looks and some of my style choices. I think I'll go with this option since it's pretty simple and it looks pretty classic too in a very pretty way. I really like it, so let's go ahead and roll with that. Awesome, there's even a cool little animation. They've shown some pretty interesting cars, all made by AI. This one right here looks pretty amazing. And the little animation is also a nice touch. Exclusive services including test drives and car sourcing too, plus they even put together a whole blog. Now this part here seems pretty simple. On the left side, I can change pretty much everything using AI to rewrite stuff. The whole interface is super drag and drop, super easy, and it looks like getting the hang of it will be pretty much of a breeze. There are some suggested images here too, so if I want to swap those out, it's easy to replace them with other ones. And as shown here, these are the sections that were included in the sitemap, which is quite impressive. So let's go ahead and do a brief comparison of the pricing across these various platforms so you can determine which one fits your specific budget. All right, so for the comparison, first one up is Dora. Their basic plan is $14 a month, which gives you a set number of credits. If you're looking to run a serious website, I'd say just jump right into the $25 plan. But if it's just a simple site that you're working on, the $14 plan should work just fine for you. Now they use a credit system since they lean heavily on AI, which is different from some of these other platforms. For example, as for Wix, the free plan has some drawbacks like long URLs and ads. If you want to upgrade, the combo plan starts at $16 a month and gets you a custom domain, no ads, and three gigabytes of storage. For even more perks, the business VIP plan is $45 a month and includes unlimited bandwidth, e-commerce options, live chat, and even prioritized support. And while Wix's AI features are cool, the free plan doesn't look as great when you stack it up against the rest of the competition. Now, hosting is hard to beat when it comes to affordability. I seriously recommend going for their most popular plan. If you're running a small or medium e-commerce business, you'll love that there are no transaction fees, making their pricing super duper competitive. And then we have Webflow. You can use it on its own, but bringing in Reloom lets you tap into all the AI features we talked about earlier. Now this combo might up the cost a little bit, but it does give you way more design flexibility. Plus there are cool extras like site analytics. It's not the cheapest choice, but when you look at all the added features, the pricing isn't too bad. It kind of just levels out. Lastly, TedWeb is pretty budget friendly right now. They've got a premium plan for around $10 a month, which is still a steal. It includes unlimited AI edits and helps you break down each step. All right, that's it for this video. If you did learn a thing or two from this video and you do want to see more content about building websites and similar topics using AI tools, please do let me know down in the comments section below. I'll be right there waiting for you. I'd be happy to create more videos just like this. So thank you for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time.